what Bomani Jones is accused of in this complaint is not a crime and it is not actionable. I want you all to listen to this. This is from the complaint of the woman who worked at ESPN for two years who is suing them for sexual harassment. On or around November 7th of 2016, Mrs. Lawrence was preparing to leave the makeup room in Building 4 and Bamani Jones, the former co-host of ESPN's Highly Questionable, who was on campus to fill in on ESPN2, was seated in the makeup room. Standing by the door and dressed in a skirt, Mrs. Lawrence looked down to change her shoes and looked up to find Jones staring at her legs, ogling her, and intensely giving her, quote, elevator eyes as he slowly looked her up and down in a sexualized manner, making Miss Lawrence feel extremely uncomfortable, another long-standing practice at ESPN. In her sexual harassment lawsuit, harassment lawsuit, she has alleged as follows. A man looked at her and appeared to find her attractive while doing so. Moreover, he looked at her legs, he looked at her chest, and he looked at her face, and he did so while suggesting that he found her attractive without actually saying a word. This is now sexual harassment. I gotta tell you, it's insane. It is absolutely insane the culture that a place, frankly, like ESPN has helped to create where you allow this left-wing victimization culture to run so rampant that people don't even realize what's normal and abnormal and acceptable and unacceptable behavior anymore. Here is what will always be acceptable. It will always be acceptable to be a man and look at a woman. That is not legally actionable. It will also be acceptable to be a man and look at a woman and think to yourself, damn, that's a good looking woman. She looks good in those clothes. And it's also permissible while you're in your own head to think she looks good in those clothes but I bet she looks better outside of those clothes. Which is literally the very foundation of the human species. Looking at a woman and finding her attractive is how I came to exist and it's how you came to exist and it's how the human species has continued to exist. It is the very foundation of our biology. That men should look at women and find them to be attractive. And that women occasionally, to their great esteem, should look at men and find us to also be attractive. And that when two different people look at each other and both find each other to be attractive that one day they might produce children who also will grow up and hopefully one day find somebody else to be attractive with them. This, my friends, is not sexual harassment. There is not anything wrong with this at all. Even her allegation <coughs> being published <coughs> and taken seriously by members of the sports media is evidence of how absurd our standards have become. As stupid as I think many of Bomani Jones's opinions are, and as much of a PC Bromani is he as he is, always out there trumpeting the farthest of the far left-wing political opinions. I will defend anyone when they are wrongfully charged with stupid accusations, and that is what's going on with the entirety of of the ESPN lawsuit. It's amazing to me that we've allowed this culture to exist where we haven't just called out people who are full of crap like this woman 
She can file whatever lawsuit she wants. ESPN, so far as I've seen, no man did anything wrong. They tried to sometimes sleep with an attractive woman. When that becomes a crime, we've ended up in a strange place in America. When you can't even look at an attractive single woman while being an attractive single man without her putting your name in a lawsuit and the media all covering you as if you are some sexual deviant, we have ended up in a strange place.